Are you wondering the best canned items to store in your stockpile? Well, I'm here to share with you today the top seven canned goods that I always keep in my pantry and stockpile and the reasons why. I'm Kristen here at Joyfully Thriving and I love talking about building a grocery stockpile on a budget and canned goods are a great way to do this. This video is especially timely because coming up in the winter, October, November, and December are when you are going to see some of the best sales on canned goods. So this is a really important time to go ahead and start building your stockpile. The first canned good to stockpile is definitely your canned veggies. Now this is going to be whatever canned vegetable you like. For our family, we store a lot of canned beans and canned corn. You can pick whatever varieties you like. Mixed vegetables are also a great option. Canned potatoes, although some people would say those aren't really a vegetable. Canned peas, whatever vegetable your family likes and eats, go ahead and stock those. Canned beans and canned corn are also some of the cheapest vegetables you will find. And these are the ones that always go on sale around Thanksgiving. So it makes it a really good time to start stocking up and adding canned vegetables to your stockpile. Now I should point out when you are storing any canned item, go ahead and always check the ring around your can. Make sure it is firm. Look around the whole can that there are no dents, any dents or bumps. That is something you need to use right away and you do not want to store long term. Another tip to be to help you with this stockpile would be to take your canned goods, look at the expiration date on the top, and with a Sharpie marker, just go ahead, and this one says December 2025. So I would just write 1225, just like that in a Sharpie marker, to make it really easy to see. And then when you store it on your shelves, it's super easy to look for it and know when do I need to use it. Now, please remember that the dates on top of cans truly are a best buy date. These can last a lot longer past those dates. But again, use your best judgment. Watch for those things with the stockpile. You should always rotate it and whatever you buy old, you put to the back of the shelf and so on. But just keep an eye on those dates as you are building your stockpile. Another canned item to have in your stockpile would be your canned meats. Now I have to say, our family doesn't really eat a lot of canned meats, but I have started keeping them in my stockpile because they are shelf-stable protein. Typically, I fill our freezer with meat, but I do want to have some options that are shelf-stable. So for us, we store canned chicken. I really like the Sam's Club canned chicken. It's just really good, high-quality chicken breast there. And then tuna. I have heard really good things about the roast beef. I know some people actually like the um, canned ground beef as well. Whatever canned meats that your family will eat, it's very important to have some shelf-stable protein in your stockpile. And canned meats, again, will last a very long time. So they're an important thing to have on your shelves. Now the third canned good, some people might say, well, it's not truly canned, but it is peanut butter. And I think peanut butter is so important to have, not just if you have little kids like I do, but peanut butter is a very shelf stable, good source of protein, high fats. You can eat it on bread, you can eat it on crackers, you can eat it plain by the spoonful. It's just a really good thing to always have in your pantry, whether you're using it for baking or you're keeping it as a source of protein. Peanut butter is definitely something to keep on hand. And once again, peanut butter also goes on sale always around the holidays. Now this one won't last quite as long as the canned vegetables. It does generally have a one to two year shelf life when you are purchasing it. We go through it very quickly and are always rotating our stock, but just know that it's still important to have. You'll just have to watch the dates a little more closely than you will with your canned vegetables. The next item on the list would be to store canned beans. And yes, I know it is much more cost effective to store dried beans or to possibly can yourself, but for anyone, canned beans are a really good thing to have. You can just open up the top and you're ready to serve them. Store the beans that your family likes. So we have garbanzo beans in our house. That's, I have to admit, I'm kind of the only one who eats those, but we also store black beans. And then I also store pinto beans and refried beans. All of those beans you will find on our shelf at any given time. Canned beans last a long time. Like I said, yes, you can cook your own beans and it's great to have dried beans in stock too, but canned beans are great when you need some quick fiber and protein. You can just have those beans ready to go, whether you're serving them by themselves, in a meal, with some rice, anything you need. Canned beans are a great thing to have in your stockpile. 
Another canned good that's great to store would be your canned soups. Now these can be things very much like your chicken noodle soup, or you could use a canned chili and store those. Those are good things to store. Or include in this category, I also have the creamed soups that you are going to bake with. Soups are great when you would have a power outage. You just need to eat something very quickly. You can easily heat this over a fire. It's ready to go. Now, some of these are what you call the condensed soup, where you would have to add like a cup of water. Some, like the Progresso or Chunky soups, are ready to serve just as is. So it's good to have a variety of those on your shelves. In the winter, you'll regularly see canned soups go on sale. So this is a great time to add them to your stockpile as well as your pantry shelves. As for the canned soups, if you cook with those, those cream of chicken and cream of mushroom always, always, always go on sale around Thanksgiving. So it's a great time to add those to your stockpile too. Another canned item I always keep on our shelves are canned fruits. And for us, it's peaches, but you have peaches, you have pears, you have your mixed fruit, you have so many different options. The other thing we always have is applesauce. I would classify that as a canned fruit, even in the bottle but you always want to have some fruits that your family can eat. Now, fruits don't last quite as long as canned vegetables. So once again, as I've mentioned, pay attention to those, make sure you're rotating them and using them. This is why it's really important to store what you eat and eat what you store, because if you do that, then you are easily rotating through things. But I will say when you purchase a can, most of these still have a two year date that is out on the can. So just pay attention to those and make sure you're using them. But canned fruit is a really important thing to have in your stockpile. Another thing to note is if you get your fruit in the 100% fruit juice, like I always try to do, then you have some juice that you can drink as well as enjoy the fruit. Another canned good to store would be your canned tomatoes and your tomato sauces, any of those things. Now, please know tomatoes are acidic. So this is one thing you really, of all of them, this is why it's last on the list, because I think it's really important to have these, but you do need to pay attention to them. Over the course of time, as they get closer to their best buy date, you may notice that they will start having more of a tinny taste. So just keep an eye on those. If you have things in glass containers, that's good because it will help eliminate that. But in addition to like your diced tomatoes, your crushed tomatoes, whatever tomatoes you like to use, I think it's also good to have tomato paste and tomato sauce on your pantry shelves at all times because these really will help you bake a lot of things. I recently purchased these and the best buy date is still two and a half years out. So don't be scared to store canned tomatoes and tomato products. Just know that it is something you will need to pay attention to because they are more acidic than other things. There you have it. Those are seven things to store and all of those canned items will go on sale in the winter time, especially in November. Start watching for those sales because one of the ways that I've built our stockpile over the year is by shopping all the sales. Buying canned items like this is a great way to help prepare your family, whether it's just trying to build up some extra food for when someone's sick, if there is a job loss, Regardless of how or why you are stockpiling, these seven canned items will be a great thing to have in your stockpile. Tell me in the comments, what canned items do you always store in your stockpile? And then if you're curious, you can check out this video next where I will give you a full tour of my stockpile so you can see everything I store in addition to all the canned goods.